Hello YouTube, this is XXXMan360 here, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the Angry Birds Rio 2.2.0 level editor. Some things are different compared to the Angry Birds Classic 2.2.0 level editor, or it's more like Angry Birds 2.0.2, .2. but yeah, it is quite similar in procedure in a few ways, but there are a few things that we have to do a bit differently. So to start, uh, what you're going to need is 7-zip, uh, which I'm sure a lot of people have. You're also going to need to download this uh, level uh, editor Rio 2.0.zip. This is going to be containing all the stuff that you need to replace. And if you don't have this from the Angry Birds Classic level editing tutorial, you need to download this level underscore encrypt.bat. Um, all downloads will be in the description. And you'll also need open SSL. Uh, Alright, <clears throat> so to start, we're going to get to our Rio 2.2.0 installation. Go to the data folder. Go to scripts and open up the zip drag options.loa in and this editor plus is, uh, contains Rio 1 editing tools so we'll drag those in as well okay so now the files are replaced we'll go back to Angry Birds Rio start up the game So first thing you'll notice is that you see this play editor button. You're going to want to click on it. And you can choose different worlds by pressing the arrows. And I believe the double arrow indicates bonus worlds. So we're going to start with the warehouse instead. So here is level 1. Uh, and I'm not going to change too much on it, but the controls are quite similar to the Angry Birds Classic level editor. And I'm assuming Rovio probably did that for simplicity, yeah? Okay, so um, 1 and 2, that's your stone. 3 and 4, that's your birds. 5, 6. Um, I guess those are special objects, yeah? 7, 8. Uh, 8 is hitboxes. Um, Q and W, that's wood, E and R, those are fireworks, that's interesting. A and S, those are your glass blocks, um, I haven't really played around with all of them, but, uh, yeah, okay, so T and Y, those are some of the, uh, things you can destroy. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is simple, I'm going to just replace, uh, these uh, boxes and I'm going to replace one of the birds and so it's much easier to select a block oh that's a tiny one. Oh, I need a bigger one yes there we go alright now I'm going to delete the boxes oh if you're wondering how I'm highlighting I right click and select what I need to select <coughs> now I can drag the boxes in Okay, now I was going to replace the birds, so to replace birds, uh, you just delete them uh, with the delete key. And uh, what's nice is that you can actually insert the Rio 2 birds um, from the game. So, uh, yeah, let's try uh, with Terrence. Okay, wait, oop. you got to left click with that. Alright, now I'll just place them in. And change the start position to 1 by right clicking on him and pressing 1. And now start is set to 1. And now when we press Control S, not save turns to saved. Okay, but we're not done yet because we still have a few more things to do before we can actually play the level. But right now we're going to close out of the program. And now we're going to go back to data. Uh, levels. And whatever world you edited. Uh, in this case, I edited Warehouse. 
Uh, we look in temp to see what the name of the file was. In this case, it's level 190. So here's level 190.loa. So um, it is, um, as you can see, it's not encrypted. All the text is in its original format. But we scroll down to the bottom, we have to add something. Like in the Angry Birds Classic level editor, we have to type file name equals, and in quotes, you will type the name of the file. In this case, it's level 190. Uh, keep in mind, this is a capital L I'm typing because it is case sensitive, and that is quite important in uh, how these are written out. So now we'll save that. Uh, and this, I was using um, a Notepad++, but you can use whatever uh, text editor you want. Okay, so now we're going to take our file. We're going to drag it over to our open SSL folder. And uh, the level encrypt.bat that I was talking about, you want to put this in the bin section of OpenSSL because that is where OpenSSL is located. Take our level, drag it to here, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use 7-zip and put it in an archive. Add to level 190.7-zip. Now we have the 7-zip file. We drag it onto level encrypt.bat. It does the work. And now we have this uh, extra file. This is what we're going to drag back into the folder. And we have to rename it back to the, its original name. In this case, it was level190.loa. And to tell that it was a success is when you open it up and it looks like this Unicode garbage that nobody could possibly read, except the computer, of course. Um, so yeah, we'll go back to Angry Birds Rio, start up the game. And now, when we go to play the level, I, I guess I turned off the music, right? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, really. Alright, now let's start. And here we have it, our edit. Now we can drag Terrence and destroy the level that way. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, Make sure to hit the like button, and if you want any future uploads relating to Angry Birds level editing, then you best subscribe, because I will continue to be posting videos about that for quite a while, until I've ran out of things to make level editing videos about. But yeah, there will still be other Angry Birds content uh, for me to post about. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.